Horses are big and horses are strong. Of course they are. They can carry people, they can pull carts, but no matter how much you think you might know about the strength of horses, some are even more powerful than that. Some are like the Clark Kent of the horsey world. These are the most powerful horse breeds in the world. Number 15. Stallion Horse Breeds People love stallions. I'm not going to speculate on why exactly that is, but I'll just say this. If they were a human, they'd be one of those irritatingly attractive people who get free stuff. But you already know that. You want to know how powerful this horse is. Well, buckle up. While every stallion may be unique, they all exhibit the same essential traits unless they're trained out of them at an early age. Unfortunately, one of these traits is natural aggression, resulting in some severe injuries for other horses and handlers. However, if a stallion comes to respect its handler and cooperate, this horse breed can become one of the world's greatest equine athletes. It's not uncommon to see stallions at the top of the game in just about every discipline, from horse shows to Olympic events, or a fun little role in Shrek 2 because that happens. Happened. If trained properly, the stallion can be one of the most powerful and incredible horses in the world. If left untrained, you may find yourself in the hospital dealing with some painful stallion injuries. Either way, the horses will be happy. It's really all down to you. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. This photo that you're looking at is of a Dutch draft, one of the mightiest horse breeds out there. These things are huge and strong, capable of carrying the heaviest of men and pulling the largest of carts. They are, as you might have guessed, a Dutch breed of heavy draft horse known for being blessed with both good stamina and a chilled out temperament. They're the result of crossbreeding local Zealand mares with the Belgian Ardennes and Brabant breeds. This crossbreeding took place during the First World War, and the Dutch draft remained the most prominent Dutch horse breed until well after the Second World War. They are weighty fellas, averaging 750 kilograms and tall as well, scaling to 160 centimeters. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Belgian Draft when it comes to draft horses, not much needs to be said. A long time ago, these horses were used for everything from agriculture to warfare, effectively building up their muscle to such an extent that they resemble a kind of horse-based Dwayne the Rock Johnson. And much like Mr. Johnson, the Belgian draft probably could kick your ass in a fight, if it ever decided to do so. Thankfully, this breed is known as a gentle giant. Giant. But if you have any doubts about this animal's prowess, get a load of this. You may or may not have heard of the draft horse pull competition, but basically one or two horses in harness must pull some kind of weight or weighted object and the one that can pull the most weight wins. Now, the weight in question is generally anything up to, or perhaps more than, 8,000 pounds. Yep, 8,000 pounds. The strength required to pull something weighing that much is obviously unimaginable. Even Mr. The Rock wouldn't be able to do so, but his horse manages to do this daily and has done so for decades. So just remember this next time you need a trip to the chiropractor after lifting your trash can. Number 13. Arabian There's no question that the Arabian horse is one of the most beautiful in the world. 
but it's also one of the most powerful and most dangerous too. In fact, this horse is considered to be so risky that many experts advise children to stay well away from it. Arabian horses are one of the world's oldest breeds, bred with many others to ensure speed, beauty, endurance, and healthy bones. At one time, it was even used as a war horse, arguably the strongest argument for just how powerful this breed can be. Naturally, the Arabian horse is very aware of its own power and requires a reliable and firm leader to handle it. Without that, such power is left unchecked and, well, the Arabian just kinda does whatever the hell it wants to do. That's maybe the most relatable thing of this whole video. The Arabian can be found competing in just about every athletic discipline and is often used as a recreational or working horse. Today, just about every breed of riding horse has an Arabian ancestor, owing to the all-round power of this strong breed. Number 12. Suffolk a name like the Suffolk Punch doesn't come around very often, but when it does, we pay attention. This is a compact, sturdy little horse with a long history of hard work and almost unbelievable feats of strength. Seriously, prepare to be stunned. Go boys. The Suffolk Punch has mostly been used for draft work on farms and similar purposes, but this sturdy little guy was also once in the military. During wartime, soldiers often relied on the Suffolk Punch to pull the heavy artillery that no human man could. Today, they're often used to pull vans and other commercial vehicles that for whatever reason, are unable to be moved the typical way. All of this is to say that the Suffolk Punch has an impressive amount of strength, thanks to its history of pulling huge items. Their bodies are basically compact structures of muscle at this point. I'm a little scared of it, honestly. The Suffolk may be one of the smaller animals out there, but it most definitely packs a punch. This little guy can pull items that would make you or I burst into tears and curl up in the fetal position. All right, I don't know if you would go that far, but I probably would. Number 11, Mustang. Many of you will probably know the Mustang as the classic car typically purchased by men going through their midlife crisis, but it's also one of the world's most powerful horses. Some claim that the Mustang is a wild horse, though others disagree. Who's right here? Actually, who cares? When the Spanish came to America, they brought with them some domesticated horses. Over time, these horses went wild and eventually lost all of that domesticated knowledge, resulting in the feral horses that we we now know as Mustangs. However, when they're trained by experts, this horse can easily compete with some of the more, shall we say, competitive breeds. Their incredible stamina, speed, and muscular legs makes them one of the world's sturdiest and most durable horses. And since the invention of the car, middle-aged men have stopped climbing on them, so they also get injured much less, despite its its feral nature, the Mustang can be one of the most powerful horses if its handler can train it properly. If it doesn't, however, well, you better get running. And the Mustang runs pretty fast, so you better somehow tap into that super speed none of us have. Number 10. Percheron I think we've already established that a draft horse is a powerful horse, but then there are mighty powerful draft horses. I mean, let's be honest. If you're the kind of horse used for parades and carriage rides, you're probably not going to be some weedy little thing, right? No offense to the weedy little horses out there, the Percheron is a French draft horse, well known for its unique mix of brains and brawn. While they may have something of a reputation for 
being a wily and cunning breed, they're actually very cooperative and willing with the right trainer. That may explain why they're so often used to pull carriages and other such vehicles. These animals are fearless, hard to spook, and incredibly powerful. In fact, back in the 17th century, this horse was specifically bred to be used as a war horse. So it's not surprising that this thing doesn't look spooky at all. While it's predominantly used to pull vehicles, the Percheron is one of the strongest and most intelligent horses you'll find. They're calm, composed, and they can lead a parade like nobody's business. There's only maybe three humans on Earth that could do that and do it well. Okay, maybe two. Hugh Jackman and the girl from the musical, uh, about the, the people, y you know the one. Number 9. Carolina Marsh Tacky Broadly speaking, horses don't tend to spend much of their time in the water and swamp-like environments. In fact, most horses tend to actively avoid those kinds of scenarios. But some, like the Carolina Marsh Tacky, seem to handle it pretty well. Owners of the Carolina Marsh Tacky have long spoken positively about the breed's ability to work in water and swampy environments without panicking. While they may be small and gentle animals, they're confident stable, and incredibly intelligent. But of course, you're not here for smarts, you want brawn. Well, this horse has got it. The Carolina Marsh Tacky is most commonly used for endurance riding and traditional field work, like hunting and herding. While all of that sounds pretty rough, I think endurance riding just takes it to a whole new level of oh boy. But yep, this horse can somehow survive continuous movement over 50 to 100 miles of natural terrain. I need a nap just thinking about it. The Carolina Marsh Tacky is kind of an unusual breed, given that it seems to actually enjoy life in wet and muddy conditions. I can't see any other breed willing to subject itself to that kind of torture. Some cartoons maybe, but not actual horses. Number 8. Dutch Draft it really should not be understated that draft horses are basically the giants of the horsey community. These are horses with a long legacy of hard work, mostly spent in the fields and agriculture sectors. And who'd have thought that a few centuries of pulling logs and plowing would give them muscles Hulk Hogan would kill for? After the end of the Second World War, the draft horse was sadly replaced by tractors and machinery. Nowadays, they can mostly be found at farm shows, where their owners proudly boast about their impressive prowess and their almost unthinkably sized muscles. This is a massive horse, capable of some incredible feats of strength, but it's also a very calm, gentle-natured horse, which makes them a perfect fit for curious children. I mean, you should still keep an eye on them. Horses don't make great babysitters, but I'd hope that you already know that. The Dutch Draft is one of the largest and most impressive draft horses in the world. And we should know not to overlook its long history in the agricultural fields. Yes, I am going to milk this joke for as long as I can. They are sweet, kind, huge horses, and they are huge in their field. Okay, I'm done. Number 7. Shire so you thought only hobbits lived in the Shire? Absolutely not. The Shire horse is one of the most popular and most powerful breeds of draft horse in the United Kingdom. So basically, if Gandalf came and asked one of these horses to go on a quest, it would be pretty cool. Shire horses are not just larger than most other horses, but they're also much heavier, often weighing up to 2,200 pounds. Of course, I feel the need to add that much of that mass is pure muscle. So all you bodybuilders out there really need to up your game. You're being outproteined by a horse. Back in the days of war, these horses were used to transport the armor of their riders long distances and intimidate potential enemies with its imposing size. But once the war ended, their focus shifted to more work-based purposes like agricultural and transport sectors. Even war veteran horses need to find work elsewhere. Of course, the 
biggest reason that so many people set out to get one of these horses has nothing to do with its power or history, but that magnificent mane of hair. Even Fabio would kill for locks like that. Number 6. Morgan As the meme once told us, find you a horse who can do it all, well friends, that horse is finally here. The Morgan horse is truly an all-rounder of a breed, if there ever was one. And we have the receipts to prove it. As you can see just by looking at it, the Morgan horse is aesthetically strong, averaging between 14.1 and 15.2 hands tall, and somewhere between 900 and, well, 1,100 pounds in weight. But its true power comes from the sheer athleticism that it can display. Much like the stallion, the Morgan horse was bred to be the most versatile athlete. And honestly, mission accomplished. This horse has evolved from a cavalry mount and racehorse into one of the world's most versatile horses, moving from dressage to driving classes and more with basically no effort required. And yes, it probably wins all every contest it's in. Why not? The Morgan horse isn't as well known as it deserves to be, but it's most definitely one of the most versatile and powerful breeds on the planet. To be able to participate in everything from dressage to driving? Unheard of. Well, it's not unheard of, I'm sure other horse breeds can do that too, but we're not talking about them right now, so just correct me in the comments and leave me alone. Number 5. Clydesdale here we have a horse that even the non-fans among us will recognize. Thanks to the classic Super Bowl commercials, the Clydesdale is probably one of the most famous horses in North America. There's just something about seeing a horse promoting beer during a national sporting event that makes Americans feel pride in their country. In the pre-industrial period of our planet, the Clydesdale was about as close to God as you could get here on Earth. Uh, okay, that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but look, this was an animal that could do anything. It's capable of pulling between 2,000 and 8,000 pounds with minimal effort, so you can see how people in that pre-machinery time would consider it to be the single greatest animal anywhere on the planet. Of course, modern Clydesdales don't really have to work the fields anymore, meaning that they can now turn their attention to something even more American, public displays of strength. Just pass me that delicious, frosty Budweiser right now. Thanks to the wonders of the internet, you can probably find a Clydesdale event anywhere in the world. Assuming, of course, that the world is still functioning when you see this video. If it's broken, crack open one of those delicious frosty buds and have a good old-fashioned cry. Number 4. Frisian Some horses can just do it all. There's pleasure horses, competition horses, dressage, driving, even farm horses. You name it, they do it. And the Frisian horse is definitely one of them, but with a very notable difference. This horse has one of the best reputations of any breed. The Frisian is an incredibly strong and muscular breed, usually standing between 15 and 16 hands tall. But they're mostly known for their friendly and intelligent disposition, which makes them a very popular breed with, well, just about everybody that doesn't want to spend their time with a jerk. However, we're not here to talk about the world's friendliest horses. We are here to talk about how this horse could probably probably beat anybody in a power contest. And believe me, it could. This breed pretty much aces anything that it tries its hand at, giving it a higher rate of success than some humans I've met. Admittedly, that's a low bar. The point is that the Frisian is a worthy entrant on this list, capable of some incredible feats of strength. And we haven't even talked about the power of that mane. I've always said it, nothing says power like long, flowing locks. Number 3. Gypsy Vanner it stands to reason that a horse literally bred to pull a wagon would become one of the world's most powerful breeds. I mean, honestly, what did you expect? This thing is known as a people-sized draft horse. It's basically built to be a powerhouse. 
The Gypsy Vanner was the idea of the British Romani people, who envisioned a beautiful breed of horse that could pull their wagons and carriages. Over half a century, they selectively bred the horse until they managed to create what they later deemed the perfect breed, the Gypsy Vanner. For the most part, the Gypsy Vanner is still committed to the work that began centuries ago, pulling the wagons and carriages, but you can also see them engaging in dressage ceremonies, as well as general Western pleasure horses still. You can take the horse out of the draft game, but you can't take the draft game out of the horse? That sounded better in my head. At 14 to 15 hands tall, the Gypsy Vanner is not exactly a small draft horse, but it is a beautiful and powerful one. And we haven't even talked about that mane, though. Yeah, there's no question if this horse were a human, it would be... Um, who's a model with long hair? Does Steven Tyler model? Uh, sure, we'll go with him. Number 2. Marwari Despite many, many emails to multiple post offices, there has yet to be a memorial or memorials erected in honor of the war horses that died in any and all wars. But if there were such a memorial, chances are that you wouldn't see many Marwari on there. And you know why? They were brave as hell. The Marwari horse is a light breed, typically weighing under 1,500 pounds. But don't let that fool you. These horses were incredibly popular when it came to battles, owing to their intense loyalty and bravery against all the odds. There are many stories of the Marwari horse carrying an injured or lost warrior back home to safety. Just as there are stories of this horse hearing danger coming thanks to its heightened hearing and notifying their riders in advance. These horses are agile, and their power comes not from their strength, but from their eternal loyalty to their riders. In fact, you'd probably find that many soldiers survived the war thanks to these horses. The Marwari horse is pretty rare nowadays, and have been listed as endangered several times over the past century. In fact, scientists have worked to restore the breed using genome sequencing, which is a whole lot of business that I'm too afraid to go into? Feel free to get nerdy in the comments if you're smart. Number 1. End Illusion I don't know how difficult it is in the horse world, but in the human world, becoming iconic is a life goal for many. While the Andalusian is most definitely one of the most iconic breeds of horse ever to walk the earth, and we have the Spanish to thank for that. The Andalusian was developed in Spain, where it's known as the pure Spanish horse, which I think we can all agree is an incredibly creative name for a horse. The Andalusian was intentionally bred for riding, and bears a medium-sized, powerfully built body which is surprisingly flexible. For that reason, it's not a total surprise that this breed absolutely kills at dressage, which requires all manner of carefully controlled steps, not unlike dancing. Only, you know, this horse doesn't do the tango yet. The Andalusian is an elegant horse, but it's also one of the most deceptively powerful. Its body is pure muscle, with just about every anatomical part of its body constructed to benefit whatever it may be doing. Riding, dressage, jumping, you name it, this horse can pull it off. Pure Spanish engineering, but you know, genetic. Not genetic engineering, I'm not saying the Spanish did a Frankenstein type thing. I look forward to your comments, Spanish viewers, or should I say, lo siento. Which of these horses would you most like to see in person? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.